Hey, hey, hey. It's your boy Magic Dyke, a.k.a. Mr. Beards and Titties here with the, my very first Drag King uh, beard tutorial. I've been getting a lot of questions in my DMs from people like who are curious about the, you know, the art of drag and how to like achieve that shadow beard look. And I try my best to like re reply to everybody and try to like explain you how to do it, but it sounds so much more complicated when I like write it out. But it's essentially, it's just like putting on glue, putting on hair, and that's it. But like when I try to like explain the steps in a way that makes sense to everybody, it's like, it doesn't like read as easily as I would hope for it to, you know, for it to come through. But uh, last thing I want to do is like intimidate anybody from trying this amazing art form. So yeah, first thing you need, adhesive for your face. And this adhesive is, I got it from Amazon for like, I think it was like $20. Yeah, but it's like medical grade, water-based keyword water base because a lot of the stuff that I was using before were horrible for my skin I have very sensitive skin and I had acne for like forever and I just got rid of it so like I try my best to stay with things that are like you know calming and good for my skin so this one is pros aid and I got it for like yeah like like I said twenty dollars Amazon first thing you need and I'll put a link to the, uh, the Amazon link in my description box that way you guys can find it easier and I'm already wearing makeup right now because I have a show in like a few hours but um I just use L'Oreal True Match and it's pretty much I'm very basic with my makeup application I literally do the bare minimum so like yeah just find a foundation that works for you put on like a you know like a base layer because when you're taking a lot of pictures when you're like in front of a lot of bright lights you see everything on your face and I learned that the hard way when I was looking back at my picture and I'm just like <laughs> Why didn't nobody tell me I can see like my acne in freaking high definition? Like, yeah. So I started putting on makeup just to enhance my drag king persona and to hide my insecurities because I don't want to see my acne scars in my pictures or videos. So yeah, that's that's that. And then for the hair, I use I got the bundles. Yeah. So this is like some. some Cuban hair from the beauty supply store. It costs like $5 and as you can see it's like a lot. And basically what I try to do is find a hair texture that was very similar to mine because um, some people use their own hair but I just cannot for the life of me like muster up the energy to ask my you know I can't muster up that courage to ask my barber to bag up my hair. I feel weird so I'm just like I'm just gonna go buy some hair that's very similar to like my coarse kinky hair and then cut that up into little tiny pieces it's like right now it's like on a Tupperware because I'm not trying to get glue on my table. But yeah, just literally cut it up into little pieces, gather it up again, cut it up some more, gather it up, cut it up some more, gather it up, cut it up some more. Because with the shadow beard, you just want like just little, little traces of hair. You don't want like long pieces of hair because that's what works for me. I just cut it up as much as I possibly can before I get tired and, or before my fingers start to hurt. I'm just like, I'm done. Yeah, so uh... Yeah, so you got your glue, you got some hair, bundles, and I use like a, what is this, eyeliner pencil. See, I don't even know the things that I use. I don't even know the terms of them. That's how much like, that's how much of like a freaking newbie I am to the dragging game or just the makeup game in general. But this is eyeliner. Just learn that right now. And then what I do is I outline where I want my beard to let you know to lay down. So I just draw the lines, get some nice little geometry going on here. Cause I just want to have like a guide to where I put on the glue. Yeah. So just line it up, line it up, line it up, line it up. And then it helps if you have something to look at. So like a lot of times I have like beard inspiration on my phone. I find like random pages on Instagram with like you know that focus heavily on beards so that's just what I use is to kind of like look at something or try to like emulate some style of you know facial hair so just find someone that you would aspire to look like or someone that you think your drag persona should personify and just use that as like a starting starting spot 
when you're trying to figure out how to do your beard, you know? It helps to kind of look at something else. All right, so I'm gonna do my lines and then come back because I can't do that in like, yeah. All right, so now for the fun part. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I basically just use the eyeliner to like do a outline of where I want to put the glue because I like having I like having a guide so I'm not just like messing up my lines or like because the last thing you want unless it's intentional is like to have like an uneven beard so all you're going to do is just paint your face so and I just want to let you know now that I make the ugliest faces when I do my beard so like Half the time I'm just like this, <laughs> trying to like line up the underbeard, but uh, yeah. <gasps> drip, drip. Game for you dripping. There we go. All right, so do your first half of the face and you can let it like dry up a little bit or you can go ahead and start putting on the glue I mean the start putting on the hair because basically what happens is it dries on clear so it's like whether you put on the hair before or after it gets a little like you know more clear in color it doesn't really matter now you gotta do just use your finger dab very lightly That's it, just keep dabbing all around. You just gotta be really patient with yourself because you don't wanna like, if you start putting on too much, you're gonna end up with like chunks of hair in one spot and then, you know. If you want it to be consistent, just take your time and literally go like, little by little until you get the full, you know, full face going. and that's pretty much all there is to it is just keep applying until you get the the look that you're that you're going for and it's simple and process in theory it's simple but practice makes perfect the more you do it the easier it'll become and the more you'll find what works for you what works for your drag persona some people like glitter beards some people like Rick Ross beard some people like no beard some people like the porn statue whatever works for you find a way to like you know find a way to express yourself and like any other art form there's a lot of different ways to achieve the same result. Yeah. Yeah. A 
I think the first time Jimmy Fon saw me make that face in the bathroom, he was like, he's like, what the fuck? I was like, don't judge me. I do what I have to do. <laughs> And that's why I get ready on my own, because I'm not going to be, like, <laughs> sitting there looking all, looking all silly in front of my boys. Oh, gosh. I'm going to try to play some music and speed this up if YouTube doesn't, like, take down any copyrighted songs I'll play like some some happy tunes for y'all just Just keep filling in any spots that you miss. Just keep, literally take your time. It takes like a good 20 minutes, but once you put it on, it's not gonna come off for like as long as you need it. And this, this glue is really good for sticking through like the sweat and stuff. So you can literally perform multiple shows with the same beard if you have to. It's not gonna like melt off. And to take it off, all you gotta do is just use some warm water and soap. It's not like there's anything special to it. You can get the, like, the removal for it, but it's not really. Just use soap and water. Rub it off. Just wash your face like you normally would. Because the key for me is to make the beard look as blended as possible. So I try to like take it little by little as opposed to just like, you know, just slabbing it off. And like I said, there are so many different ways to get, you know, your desired outcome. So like, if you're looking for drag inspiration, find a lot of, you know, find some kings to follow. There's so many of us. There's literally a whole army of fabulous drag kings or just drag performers in general, non-binary folks, there's trans folks, there's everybody. So find some people to follow, find some people to you know, use as inspiration because there's a lot of other artists out here. There's many different ways to express yourself.
hair all over my body. So if you're doing this in the bathroom or in a stall or in a dressing room, you're going to have hair literally everywhere. So you should probably do this before you put on your like performance outfit because you don't want to be like shedding while you're dancing on people. Alright, so basically that is it. That's how I put on my beard. I just use a, some Cuban hair, some um, Pro's Aid adhesive, and uh, a little bit of foundation. And that's essentially how I get my look. That's how I get my drag king persona. You know, when I created my character, like I had a vision for him. I had like this like idea of what he was gonna look like, what he was gonna like emulate, what he was gonna like personify. And it's like Magic Mike was inspired by Magic Mike. Like that's my drag persona is a male stripper. Like that's where my like mannerisms come from. That's where my performance style comes from. It's because this character that I created is like an extension of who I am. Like, so it's like that's, you know, when people ask me about joining a drag troupe or asking about how to find a drag name or how to find a look it's essentially it's it's find what works for you when you when you think of your persona when you think of like your alter ego you know what is it that you envision and pretty much that's how that's how you start and then you build build on that but um yeah basically for those that don't know i am genderqueer and that is my you know that is my identity and my voice is shaking when i say that wow <laughs> okay i identify as genderqueer and it took me a very long time to get to this point and I'm trying not to get emotional because like it takes a lot for me to even like verbally say that out loud but yeah every journey is different everybody when it comes to discovering yourself when it comes to finding your 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 identity it's a confusing journey it's an emotional journey it's painful it's a lot of things but I embrace every part of it and I for those that don't agree with this lifestyle, those that don't like drag, those that don't understand why it is that we do what we do, those that don't accept non-binary bodies, those that don't accept trans people, those that don't accept anything outside of the norm. Norm. I say norm because there's no such thing as norm. We live in different realities, but for like... I'm about to go on like a spiel. But yeah, pretty much all I'm trying to say is if you don't agree with what I do, if you don't agree with what anyone does it's okay we can all agree to disagree respectfully that's at the end of the day that's all that matters respect beards and titties ain't for you it's okay just look the other way you don't have to like subscribe to any truth that you don't agree with you know i'm not gonna come knocking at your door trying to convince you that this is my you know this is what you need to accept i'm not gonna come here and try to like you know show up at your workplace trying to tell your boss that you know this is a new mandated like I don't know, whatever. Long story short, just let people live their lives. Let people express themselves as they choose. Let people discover and rediscover and create and recreate and renew and do whatever they want to do. Like, just let people live their lives. Just 
I'm gonna still be beards and titties whether or not you like it. I'm gonna still be my fucking fabulous gender queer. All mask, all femme, whatever I choose to be, you know. But yeah, I'm done. I'm not gonna go on a rant because I get emotional. But uh, yeah, that's how I do my beard. It doesn't take too long. It doesn't take, you know, too much. And the more you practice it, the better you get. So hopefully this video reaches somebody and helps a baby queer or a non-baby queer or just anybody trying to figure out how to, you know, do the beards. Hopefully it helps somebody. But uh, for the people that support me, the people that like show me love, the people that like send me DMs when I'm having sad days and the people that always come through, I appreciate you. Like I can't even express how much I appreciate it because I feel like, you know, we all feel the same way. We all suffer in very similar ways and we all live different lives, but there's a lot of unfortunate like parallels to all of our journeys and when it comes to like anxiety depression and other mental health issues we all like we got to be there for one another essentially that's all i'm trying to say for the people that are there for me i love you and i appreciate you and yeah that's it i'm done beards and titties out